it's been an interesting and eventful, I guess, senior season, you know, some ups and some downs, some wins, some losses. You know, we, we're not really used to being seven and five at this, or seven and five at this time of year. But, you know, it's part of the game, you know, you win some, you lose some, you can't win them all. But we always try to, you know, every game we come out, we come out and try to play to the best of our abilities, you know. It's, it's just, it just didn't go our way this year, but uh, I'm never going to forget this year either, you know. I've had some great, great times here all these years, and so, but I'm excited for this next step. You enrolled here, I think, in like August of 2006 and probably committed like 05. Yeah. I mean, it's five years ago, I don't think you guys expected, anyone expected to win, to lose five games in a year, right? Oh, yeah, most definitely, you know. If it, if it was like that back then, I probably wouldn't even be here, you know, because those guys that before I set the standard of always winning these games and always going to Rosewells, you know, that's what we're used to. And it's just disappointing, especially this year, not even being able to go to a bowl game. It's mm -hmm. disappointing, but, you know, they got we got a great staff here, a, lot, a bunch of great young athletes that are going to step up and take this program to the next level, back to the level that they were at. I mean, you said you wouldn't maybe wouldn't have come here. I mean, the out-of-state guys, that's one thing that, you know, really attracts them to USC, right, is the fact that, you know, they were in Rose Bowls year in, year out. Do you think they can still continue this? I mean, even with the five I and mean, potentially six loss, you know, season? Oh, yeah, most definitely, you know. It's still SC. It's still California. You know, people love to come out here and visit. And it's just, it's just a great place, man. We're close to the beach, close to, to the mountains. It's just the best of both worlds, you know. It's just a fun experience, you know, especially with this Trojan network that we got here, you know, alumni, just, you know, setting you up for for your future. Not not just, now football is only like temporary, but in the end, you know, you're going to have to get a job and, and it will, probably won't be something in football for most guys. So I feel like that's another uh, great as aspect of this university, you know, and especially with the new facilities that we got coming up, you know, it's going to attract guys, you know, try to get, get some of those guys from out of going to those other schools that got mm -hmm. all the nice facilities, and I think it's going to be big, big for us. You mentioned that, you know, football may not be the, the end for all the guys. That sounds like a NCAA commercial where they say, you know, all the athletes, but uh, I mean, what's what's your future like? I mean, you're, obviously you're going to have a shot yeah. at the next level. What is you're gradu you already graduated, yeah, right? So as soon as this ends, this is it's all out for the next three, four months, right? Yeah, you know, well, no, I graduated uh, with a degree in real Amazing. estate development, so I, f I plan on going somewhere in the real estate development, maybe starting my own like company. As far as like, I, I really want to do something with like public storage and something like that. Okay. So, so no, there's no NFL. You know? Oh yeah, okay. I'm, I'm I'm training next okay. level, so that's that's you know that's that's my ultimate goal is to get to that next level, you know. And, a lot of guys, most of the guys on the team, that's their, their ultimate goal is to get to that, to that, uh, to the league. But you know, if anything does happen, you know, I have something to fall back on with, it, with this SC degree. Last thing, uh, you know, you spent one year with Monty Kiffin, kind of one of the defensive gurus. What would you learn from him? And if you had boil it down to maybe a couple of things, that you... Uh, you know, it's just one one thing he always says: if you see a little. You see a lot, but if you if you're looking around, seeing everything, you you're basically going to see nothing. And just just the defensive mind, and that he is a great mind. That he is, you know, just some of these some of these crazy blitzes that he comes with up with is, you know, something that I, I, I was really shocked as far as like all the all the blitzes that we ever come come up with. And uh, uh, that's pretty much it. You know, he's a great coach. I was excited. He's a he's a fun guy, just like Coach Carroll was. You know. So he, he's a really good guy, great ass, great coach.